Greetings everyone. Today we will learn how we can redirect a URL to another URL in WordPress using a plugin and also by a line of simple code. Let's get started. Open the browser and log into your WordPress dashboard by going to your website slash wp-admin. Enter username and password. For the redirection, you will need to add a new plugin. Let's go to plugin and add new. And search for redirect. This is the plugin we want. Install and activate. So here is our plugin. Please complete your redirect setup. You can read it or ignore. Anyway, click on Start Setup. Click on Continue Setup and Finish Setup. I don't want to import any old slug, so I will untick it and continue. So this is the interface, very easy to use. Source URL where you can keep a URL you want to redirect. Target URL where you want that URL to go. So let's take an example. Suppose you had an old site with a URL, uh, let's say old blog. So it's not found obviously, but if it is an or URL, then it might be indexed by Google or you might have shared it with many. So in this case, you want to redirect it to your new page. So simply write down your old URL to the source URL and where do you want to redirect. Mm, let's try with blog. So this is the new blog. So I will just paste it to the target URL. Some other options too. So from this page to this. Click on add redirect. It's added. It's a permanent redirect 301. Let's check it. I'll open a new browser in cognitive mode. Mm, sorry, this is the link I want, old blog. Let's check it in a cognitive mode. So if someone comes with the old blog link, they will be automatically redirected to the new link, as you can see. Let's try it again. Yes, it works great. So as you can see, it's very simple. If I refresh this, I should be redirected to the new blog URL. Hmm, this works, doesn't it? Right. So this is how you can redirect from one page to another. As mentioned, this is very useful, especially if Google has indexed your old URL or you updated your website with new links or had shared your URLs to others. More options here. Ignore slash, ignore cases, uppercase, lowercase, etc. You can use it accordingly. Now, the beauty of this plugin is you can also redirect page to completely new domain. This is my website and I want to redirect, let's say, slash YouTube to my YouTube page. So if I paste my channel name on target URL and add redirect, so you know it's here. So let's also click cache just in case. Now if I go to slash YouTube, I should be directed to my YouTube channel. I also want to check it in the cognitive mode slash YouTube so I'm redirected I don't need this redirection so we'll delete it for the moment but this is how you do it with the plugin now let's do it with a very simple code I just want to refresh it okay so let's go to pages and add new I will call it a taste page. This is a taste page. You will be redirected shortly. Add a shortcut. 
So this is the code. Just paste it in a shortcut. I will put it in the description. Anyway, so if you go to slash test page, it will go to the URL you keep there. For now, if I publish it and view page slash test page, in few seconds, it will be redirected to other page you do for now. So how this works is if you change the content value, which is zero, it's a second. So let's say if you change it to five means five second. I will also change the text for the base. So if you want the visitor to stay in your base for a few seconds and then redirect it to another base, you can do it accordingly. So let's update it and view base. So in 5 seconds, this base will be redirected to my YouTube page. This is useful if you want someone to stay in this space for a few seconds before redirecting. Let's say a download page or something. Please, however, don't forget you need to put this code in short code, otherwise, it will not work. And that's about it. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe.